I'm going to show you an easy way to see if your stator is working on the lighting and charging output. You can look up a manual, I've got them on my site, and it'll tell you some specs for resistance readings across different wires, it'll tell you which one's the test, but I find this way to be a lot faster and a lot easier, it tells me what I need to know. So all you need to do to start is trace the wire from your stator and find the connections here. With a GY650, the 139QMB, you should have two little individual connectors here and then one big connector. These two individual connectors are for the ignition system and you want to leave those alone, leave those connected. You want to disconnect the big connector over here. You should see the side coming from the stator. You've got three connectors in here. You've got a yellow, a green, and a white. The green is for the ground, so take the black probe, the ground probe, from your multimeter and put that in where the ground is. If you don't have a ground wire coming out of the stator, then just ground this to the scooter. Then take the red probe and hook it in either of the other two. You're going to check them both so it doesn't matter which one you start with. Now you need to turn on your multimeter and set it to volts AC. Make sure everything's out of the way of hot or moving parts and then you can start the scooter. So you can see we get something like 15 to 20 volts at idle and my idle's going to act up a bit now because uh, it's not getting any voltage for the enricher. But if you rev it up, if you rev it up, you can see that it'll peak somewhere around 60 volts AC. So something like 15 to 20 at idle and around maybe 60 or above when you're revving the engine. To check the other part of the stator's output, what you do is take the red probe and move it to the other free connector. And then you'll repeat the process, start the scooter, check your voltage, should be about the same. And if you're getting something really low or you're not getting any voltage, then you probably need to replace your stator.